the Catechism tells us about the fruits of Holy Communion. Another way of saying this is the graces of Holy Communion. There are many, but I want to focus on three. First, communion renews, strengthens, and deepens this incorporation into the church already achieved by baptism. Every time we receive the Eucharist, we participate in a communion that is not separated by land or language or race. This is what it means to be Catholic, truly universal. This family is not even separated by time. That means we get to be in communion with all those who've gone before us. Secondly, Holy Communion separates us from sin. Have you ever heard the phrase, you are what you eat? Well, most of the time, that's not actually true. What you eat becomes you. You integrate it, you use it. But with communion, it is true. You become like God. You are assimilated into Him. The third grace or fruit of communion is intimate union with Christ Jesus. That's why we're on earth, to know God, to love God, and to serve God in this life, and to be happy with Him in the next. As St. Irenaeus famously stated, the glory of God is man fully alive. He comes to recreate us. Nowhere better does this occur than at the mass when we are not just near Christ or next to him. We aren't even covered by his grace. We receive him and are received into him.